Welcome back everyone. And as you know, our show Breakaway is about taking you up close and personal with businesses, organization, and people who are stepping out, making a difference, and inspiring others. And my next guest, Mrs. B. Burnett Herrick, is certainly doing just that. Thank B, you. Thank you so much for being with us. Pleasure. Now, you are fascinating in many ways. However, one of those ways is that you are a world champion tennis player. Tell us about that. Well, I got lucky. People who were better died or <laughs> uh, didn't show up. Okay. So I went with the team, mm -hmm. and uh, the USA won six out of nine of the gold medals. And wow. after that, they had the individual world championship, and I won that, and I did not lose a set. And I attribute it to a couple of people I know who didn't show up, and also to every year counts at this stage of the game. And I did not turn 75 until December 26. So I had a lucky birthday because you can play that whole year that you turn 75. And that, that really means a lot. Now this year may be tougher because we got a lot of women in the 70s mm -hmm. who are turning 75 and they're eligible to come up and they're tough. Well, you are certainly humble, and you are beautiful at that, but um, that is quite an accomplishment, and I understand that you actually uh, didn't start playing tennis until you were a freshman in college. Yeah, I was 17, and the girl across the hall, this was Cotton Hall down at East Carolina University, it used to be ECTC, mm -hmm. and she said, would you like to play some tennis, and I was mortified to be able to tell her that I didn't know how to play, and she saw the expression on my face, and she said, I have two rackets if you want to borrow one of them. And I said, oh, that would be great. So we went out and played, and I beat her. Wow. And that hooked me. And I, when I went to live in Chicago uh -huh. after that, uh, I really got hooked on tennis. And I played on the first uh, women's pro tour, the Virginia Slims. Mm -hmm. In 1972? Yeah. So you caught a little <laughs> bit of the acting bug, but then was tennis always your passion? What brought you, what made you leave that and go back to tennis? Well, my first commercial ran for five years. Uh, national, nationally and in Canada. And that was so Bear Aspirin, correct? That was Bear Aspirin, mm -hmm. and I did about 50, over 50 commercials. Wow. You probably did that many in one year, but mm -hmm. I did over 50 commercials, and, and when the residuals would come in, I could go out and be a tennis junkie. There you go. Well, and so you just got better and better and better, and then you went into the pro tour. Uh, I went to five different cities to uh, play on the Virginia Slims pro tour. That was an and exciting lost, experience. Oh, it was so exciting. I lost everyone you'd ever heard of. Billie Jean, Billie Jean King, King, Chris, Chris Everett. Ever. Uh, a lot of people you haven't heard sure. of, but who are very, very good players. Now, B, in addition to playing tennis regularly, you also do yoga and aerobics, and you are heavily involved in many organizations. How do you do it all? Well, one day at a time, one step mm -hmm. at a time. I am certified to teach pranayama yoga, which is about life and breath control mm -hmm. and uh, learning how to breathe correctly which most a lot of people in the West don't breathe correctly sure and um, so I the, the yoga I just start my day at 630 like today 630 I had aerobics and wow. at um, I ate early. in the car at 8 uh -huh. and uh, went to acupuncture and chiropractor mm -hmm. at nine, at 8 at uh, then got over here and played tennis for an hour. This is my, yeah, so I came, I played earlier. So you just go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I belong to the Women's Club in Tarboro mm -hmm. and the Garden Club. I think I'm dumped from the Pollock Club because I missed too many meetings. <laughs> um, I was out of town a lot. And um, I sing in the choir mm -hmm. at Calvary Episcopal Church. Sure. I think well, they still have me. Yeah, they, they, let, they let me come. And you have uh, really lived a very rich and full life, and you've experienced a lot of success. Yes. And you've had a lot of different things that you've been able to accomplish. Is there something that you still would like to accomplish? Ah, yes. My uh, memoir, maybe? <laughs> that is a good idea. I certainly think that that would be something you should do. <laughs> well, B, thank you so much for being with us oh, today. It has certainly been a pleasure. Thank you. B is an example of one of the inspiring people that we like to meet with on the show. and. Uh, we certainly appreciate her being with us. You stay tuned. We'll be right back.